Don't cry for me, I'm not Gina. The truth is my real name's Gino. I was a good boy, then something happened. Now I do drag shows in Manhattan. Hello darlings, nice to see you and welcome to my second vlog. It's absolutely wonderful to be here. I've got my lovely friend Lynn joining me in a minute. And I'd just like to say thank you for all the lovely comments um, we both received before when we did one about three weeks ago. So if you've got any questions about tarot tonight, anything um, to do with tarot or crystals or anything you like, I've got three packs of tarot cards tonight. Um, I've got my mythic ones, which are my oldest ones. I've had these for 43 years. Actually, 44 years. I've got my... Um, Legacy of the Divine, which I've had about 10 years, and I've got my Cosmic Ones, which I've had about 38 years. So you can ask anything you want. Um, I'll be telling a few jokes um, here and there. In fact, I'm going to start with one now, because you know me, I always like to start with a joke. This fella goes into a bookshop, and he says to the girl, have you got that book in um, for men with really, really small willies? She says, uh, I don't think it's in yet. He goes, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's start with some spookiness. And let's start with uh, my lovely friend, Lynn Ferry. Hello. Give it up for Lynn. Hello, Hello darling. Hello. Hello. So Lynn will be um, reading the questions out tonight. Reading the questions, you know. Um, so get texting, yeah. get messaging, and you know, I'll do as many as you can. We'll be probably here for about what, an hour and a half? We're about four. We didn't want to go. No, we didn't want to go last time. We'll probably be here. So uh, you can watch the Lebers Go date, and we'll be finished at nine o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, it was Love Island last time. Oh, Love Island, yeah, we wanted to be, we wanted to be done for Love Island last time. But um, Celebrities Go Dating, yeah. Um, it's quite, have, you, have you watched that Celebrities Go Dating? Uh, yeah, but it's not as good as Love Island. No, no. I don't know whether I'm partial. No. I think they're a bit, uh, I think they're a bit desperate, aren't they? I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's I, a would, good laugh. I like, uh, what's his name, who, who welcomes them, the posh one. I like watching. Oh that. yes, he's yeah. he's he's very. Um, he would be great on that he, vlog, wouldn't he? Because yeah, he's full he of innuendos. Is, yeah. Full of innuendos. That guy, isn't he? But uh, anyway, questions so questions are coming through. Oh, already. questions are coming through already. Yeah. So let's have our first question then. Okay, where have they gone? Right. Wait a minute. Okay. We've got lots of people saying hi. Hi, Gina. hi everyone. Hi, hi everyone. Right. Um, well, let, let me just talk about the tarot cards a little bit till you um, get the questions up. So, there's 78 cards in a pack of tarot, right? And every single one of them are different, right? Now, you know, like a normal pack of cards, you've got the hearts, you've got the um, diamonds, you've got the clubs, and what are the other ones? The spades. spades. So, in a pack of tarot cards, you have all those, but they're not named the same. So, the cups would be... Uh, sorry, the hearts would be cups, diamonds would be pentacles, um, clubs would be wands, and um, spades would be swords, and they're, the, they're not a very nice um, suit, really. And then you've got the kings and the queens and the jacks and the pages and everything. And then you've got the 22 major arcana, which are the powerful cards, like the death card and the, and the, the lovers and the sun and the moon and the world and um, all the powerful cards, really. Some, some readers actually only use 22 cards, but I like to use the full pack, you know. Um, so Well, I think you're going to need them because there's lots of... Uh questions the first one is from our lovely steph from our coven are you steph are you and steph? what she's saying is she's waiting on some financial news and will she hear soon and will, will it, it be positive will it be positive right so, that's all so will the positive um right okay so shall we have i think i think we'll have the old ones i think from what i can remember steph likes yeah. the old ones <laughs> not men <laughs> you don't like the old men do you steph that would be telling wouldn't it <laughs> Right, so, will Steph receive the financial news and will it be will good? It be positive? Will it be positive, right? Fingers crossed, Steph. One card coming up, darling. This is for Steph. This is for Steph, right. Just one card. Right, that one. Oh, oh look what she's got! Oh, wow! Steph, you've got the Ace of Pentacles. So, yes, 
absolutely. Now the Ace of Pentacles, for those who don't know this card, Pentacles, this, this would be the Ace of Diamonds in a, normal, um, in a normal pack, you know, like a normal pack of cards. This would be the Ace of Diamonds. So the Ace of Pentacles, it, this is um, all to do with um, Poseidon, you know, the God of the water, the God of the sea, and he's coming out the sea with a big pentacle above his head. And yeah. it's like a massive new beginning where money's concerned. So that's Fabulous. a really good card. Really good. So yes, Steph, can, with knobs on. Can I just ask, can somebody let us know whether you can hear us? Because somebody said that it's frozen and they can't hear anything. So oh, somebody, the thing is, it does, it does freeze yeah, now and again, now and though, again. doesn't so it? Can, yeah, can it, does, it does freeze now and again, unfortunately. Um, and then we've got Kellyanne Roberts. Yes. Who's saying good evening? Um, good she evening. She wants to Kelly. know if things are going to go okay. Right. Um, going to go their way with her stepson. Going to go her way with her stepson. Going to go our way, she said. Our with way. Her stepson. So I think it's for her and her, her partner. So are things right? Going to go their right? Way. Okay. Yeah. So Kelly wants to know. Okay. Let's go with the first one. Two of Pentacles. Right. Mm. Depends what, I suppose it depends what. Yeah, I was going to say it depends what, in what way, uh, but it's not a bad card, it's a good card, the Two of Pentacles, it it's usually means you've got two situations on the go, um, and you're kind of like juggling a little bit, if that makes sense, but I would say yes, I would say it's a good card, um, it's, it's not a bad card. Um, would you be about 14? Text us back, um, Kelly, and let us know, but I would say yes. Do you just want to clarify this? Um, because it happened last time. Somebody's Pam Duffy, she's been down since the loss of her mum. Um, and it, she's hurting to think that she never got to say goodbye and would love to know that she's free from pain. And I know Aww, you explained. Oh, yes, I did. About that last right, time, I just want, so. yeah, I just want to clarify this. When it comes to doing a live blog, I don't actually work on a spiritual level because I think it's, it's like. It's very hard to um, work on a spiritual level in this situation. I'm only working with the cards. So really, the cards, it, it, take it with a pinch of salt because really it's more for entertainment. When I'm one-to-one -one with somebody and when there's just that person in the room, then I'd meditate before the reading and then I'd work on a spiritual level. So it's, 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 more, yeah. it's more poignant. When I'm doing this, it, it's kind of, I mean, don't get me wrong, I do trust the cards, but it's more, it's more of an entertainment blog, really, than yeah. an actual, you yeah. know, um, so, um, Pam. But we send love. But us. we do send love, absolutely. Um, and look out for signs for your mum. In fact, I would, I would say, this is a good thing, actually, to, to bring up, because when somebody passes, you know, I, I get a lot of people saying, Gina, um, I'll keep asking for signs all the time and like they haven't given me any signs, you know, but you, but spirit won't know what signs to give you. So you have to ask them directly to send you like a sign, like my Nana always sends me butterflies, you know, Yeah. you must get stuff. I don't yeah. know what you get, um, Lynn, but everybody gets, you know, so even if you say to your mum, Pam, um, mum, if you're around me, I'll tell you what recently I said to somebody, um, just a random thing like a red a red balloon. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like a red balloon. Yeah. And she's seen three that day. Just ask your mum to send you something very random. A yellow balloon, a red balloon, a pink rose, anything. And you'll see it three times. You'll actually see that three times. And that'll be your mum saying, yes, I'm okay, darling. Um, because spirit always sends you things in threes. So always remember that. That's quite a good um, point. Mm -hmm. That yeah. Thank um, you to everyone for letting us know you can hear us. Oh, Michelle Thomas McIntyre, love listening to you too. Thanks, Michelle. Hello, Michelle. <laughs> I think Michelle's coming out with us on Friday night, aren't you, Michelle? Are you still no, coming I don't out with think us? it's our Michelle. No, it is. Oh, it's is not. It, is it? Oh, right. No, it's, the other, it's our it, new Michelle. Oh, it's right. our new Michelle of the Coven. Oh, well, I don't know them all yet. Uh, no, no, Lynn's, Lynn's been off, so she hasn't really met any of the new girls. We've got a load of really lovely girls at the new Coven. Um, it's fantastic. I've got a load of new apprentice witches. So I, I think that'll be our new Michelle that's, that's coming out with us oh, Saturday. Maybe. We're having a witches night out. Right, these questions are coming. Chelsea Jane Hogarth, I'm having I'm having a lot of bad luck lately. Will things get easier soon? I have an important meeting coming Monday. Will that go my way? Right. Chelsea, will your meeting go well on Monday? Will Chelsea's meeting go well on Monday? Nine of Cups! Ah! 
The wish card. When you wish upon a star. Definitely. The Nine of Cups is one of the best cards in the pack. It's like you'll get what you wish. And I was kind of thinking about you there as well. So the fact that you've got the wish card, absolutely. Things will improve without a doubt. So keep positive, girly. Keep positive. Good. And yes, it will go well on Monday. Lots of people just asking for cards in general. Let's see if we can get through a few. Right, let's see if we can get through. Uh, oh, where are we? Julie Smith. May I have a card for my love life, please? Julie. Right, this is for your love life. Right, have you got a rose quartz? And have you got it down your bra? <laughs> <laughs> You're very personal at times, you, aren't you? <laughs> well, you know, and you get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know you have to keep a rose quartz down your, down yeah, your bra because do. that, that just um, invites love into your life and it, and, and it heals your heart as well. Right, love life, Julie. Let's see what's going on. Right, love life. Mm. Da, 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 da. Right, the Emperor. Um, let's have another one with the Emperor because the Emperor can mean the father of your children. It can mean... Um, Right, the Three of Swords, that's not a good card, Julie. So, what we've got here is the Emperor and the Father of your Children um, and the Three of Swords, which is not a good card. I just want to ask you one question. I'm, I mean, I don't know. Um, have you got children? If you have, this is the Father of your Children and it looks as though there was a bad breakup or maybe he doesn't see you or the children. Um, if you can clarify that for us, because that is saying... That if there was any chance you're going to get back with him, no. She hasn't got a rose quartz, but she's going to buy one. Are you going to she's, get one? She's looking to buy Need one. Need a rose quartz. And I'm someone who sells them. Yes, I sell <laughs> rose quartz. I haven't got any willies in at the moment. Somebody asked if I had any rose quartz willies. <laughs> I think it was Tina. Asked if, you uh, don't get that asked every day. No, I don't, no. <laughs> Oh, dear, mate. Yeah, that's twice I've mentioned Willie tonight. <laughs> it's going to be one of them. Been I know, I know. That's twice, you know. Um, Tr Trisha Thompson is saying her rose quartz is down their bra. <laughs> it's down my bra on my windowsill. In, and on your windowsill. In my love corner. And in your love corner. Oh, and anywhere else. I can and everywhere them. else. Sounds like she's got them all over. You need to get a pair of knickers made out of rose quartz. The, uh, the father of her children. He isn't in the picture anymore. He isn't in the picture, no. so that's right. So that's your past then. So let's have one for your future. Let's have a look. Oh, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, there is a new man coming. The Ace of Wands. Now this is this is the second Ace we've had tonight. Yeah. Remember, the Ace of Pentacles is all about a new beginning when it comes to money. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning, like a one that starts with a fire, a flame, because. Wands, a fire, you see. So wands would be clubs. So this would be the ace of clubs in an armor pack. So yes, Julie, there is somebody coming. Um, oh, I'm not Julie. sure when. Uh, wands are usually not that long. Wands are usually movements. So yeah. So the guy that you've got children to, no, he's not going to come back into your life. Um, I think he's a piece of work, to be honest. So get rid of him. <laughs> And let's uh, see what's coming. This is a new person. And I don't think you know this guy. I don't think you know him. There you go. So there you go. Shave your legs. Shave your legs, girly. Yeah. Oh, Shaney Hall. He joined us last time. Is that have I pronounced that right? Shaney Hall. He's saying, "Hey, peanut, I'm waving at you from across the pond." Oh, is this is this the guy in uh, Ohio, or is this I the girl? Is. Yeah. Is this the yeah, girl? The guy. In, yeah. Is this the girl? Hello, across the pond. If I could do American accent, I would, but I can't. I can only do Irish. Get out of here, now you. <laughs> We've got a message here from. Faye Gorman. Hi Gina, can Hello, I have Faye. a card please? I've just bought my first home which you mentioned in my mum's recent reading. Did I? Everything you said was accurate. Was Thank it? You. Yeah. Ooh, so what what is she wanting? Just a card of the week or? Yeah, she just, just, just want a card, card of the week, week yeah. Faye dear. Right, okay. Right. Card of the week. Card of the week. Uh, let's have a Right, now don't be alarmed, Faye, because you've got the death card. Now, the death card, I don't know, who, who was I watching the other night and they were talking about the death card? It was something I was watching. I don't know. Oh, and you picked it out three times. Oh, it was Father Ted! <laughs> I was Father Ted! And he went to see a gypsy. Have you oh, seen I that know. episode? No. And he pulled the death card three times out. Yeah, Father Ted. Um, right, so... 
the death card is all about a new beginning. It's very, very seldom does the death card mean the death of a person. It usually means the death of something in your life. So if you're talking about your love life, it would probably mean a new relationship. If you're talking about your job, it would probably mean you're going to get a new job, the death of your old job. Um, but if, you, if it's just a general, it means something new is coming into your life. It's kind of like the Grim Reaper comes along with his scythe and, and gets rid of everything that you don't need in your life anymore. So that's probably a good card um, for you. For, so are you pregnant? Or are you going to be pregnant, do you think? Maybe it's a baby. The birth of something. You were right about Julie Smith's uh, ex. He had three women on the go at the same time. <gasps> no! Best and that's why, we've got the, that, that's why you got the three of yeah. swords? Yeah, three women on the go. Right, let me just tell you, right, for anybody that does cards right, there's four cards that everybody gets in a reading when there's cheating going on, right? And I've done the cards for a long time. As you know, I've done them since I was 10 years old, right? And I'm not saying I'm never wrong, right? Because I am occasionally, right? Not very often. Oh, I love her. <laughs> this is why I have her wrong. But it's true. <clears throat> no, but I'm not, I'm not wrong. That When I'm really strong about something and I'll see it in somebody's reading, Right, the cards, you know, they're yeah. quite accurate, yeah, aren't very. They, right? But when you get the moon, the devil, the three of swords, and the seven of swords, them four cards usually mean an affairs in the working, right? Now, depending on who it is, if the three of swords is there, that usually means that you were the one who was going to be heartbroken, so maybe there's somebody else in the equation. Now, with the fact that you've got the three of swords, Julie, mm. it was it was three people, right. can you see? And then that heartbreak, yeah. that stabbing through the heart, and then the emperor, obviously. Um, but there's a new guy coming, so... Happy times on the way. Ha right. Absolutely happy times. Andrea Lodge. Hi, yeah. ladies. Will my new venture be successful? Andrea, will your new venture be successful? Right. Let's see. Will Andrea's new venture be successful? <gasps> yes, you got the justice card. Um, has it got anything to do with um anything legal? Because the justice card is the legal card usually. Um, is is there a contract drawn up, or have you just been drawn contract? Yes, the justice card's lovely, and the justice card kind of means if you've been. An angel, you'll get your comeuppance. Yeah. And if you've been a devil, you'll also get your comeuppance. Yeah. It's all about fairness. So justice will be done. Karma. So I would say... Karma. Karma, yeah. yeah. Karma. I would say yes. Yes, it will. We've got Paula Hooks here. Hi, Hello, Lynchina. Paula. Can Hello. I have a card to see if I'm studying the right course for me, please? Yes. Studying the right course. I always worry in case it comes out no and they've already signed up. I know. You have to take this with a pinch of salt, you know. But they tell the truth, don't they? Well, you they do, it. but I'll tell you what it is. When I'm doing somebody's card, right, this is the difference. It, say if I was doing your cards, Paula, right, you would be shuffling the cards. Yeah. It is Paula, this yes, one, isn't it? it is. You would be shuffling the cards so it would have all your energy on. Yeah. So the reading would be a lot stronger, right? So... When I'm doing it, obviously it's my energy, even though I'm asking on your behalf, it is a watered down yes. version of it. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. you have to take it with a pinch of salt. It can't be like 100% accurate, you know. Nothing ever is when it comes to cards. But as I say, it's more likely to happen if you were shuffling the cards and you were asking the question yourself. Mm -hmm. So, right, have I chosen, Paul? has Paula chosen the right um, course? For her at the moment. For her at the moment, right. Let's have one card. Oh, got the two of pentacles again. Right, have you got two things on the go? Or, mm, the two of pentacles, usually, it means that you've got two projects. Or you're a, a little bit undecided of which one to go for. Let's have another one. Oh, you'll have to let us know, Paula. Oh, it looks as though you're going to walk away from one of them. You've got the Eight of Cups, which is walking away. To me, it looks as though you either had two projects on the go or you're going to have two projects on the go because the Two of Pentacles is two projects. But the Eight of Cups means walking walk away, away from something. So maybe you had two and you walked away from one of them or there's going to be another one that come up and you're going to walk away from one of them. So there's a choice. Or maybe she's gone to one side and she is on the right one maybe let us yeah know, yeah let us know yeah this is an interesting one shari bogey will i get the birth i'm wanting i'm pregnant with my second child but the first was an emergency c-section 
and she's hoping for a natural birth this time. So that's a hard Ooh, one. Oh, that's the that's that's a bit of a tough it's question. A health, that's like a health thing. That's isn't a bit it, of a health really? question, isn't it? Um, well, we'll pick the cards out anyway and see what we get, eh? So will Shari get the birth that she's wanting? Let's just see what comes out. Let's see what comes out, right? Mm, sure, that that is a tough question, like, but we'll we'll have a go. Three of Wands. Mm. Have you got two children or just one? Did you say? Did you say she had two? No, one. I think one. I think mm. this is her second one. It's a good card, but it doesn't necessarily. It doesn't no, it's not really answering. But it is a good card. So I would. Mm, I don't know. I can honestly say I'm not sure with that one. Uh, and it is a tough question to ask, actually. Um, so sometimes it doesn't. They don't like to answer health. Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'm sorry, Shari. Ch choose something a little bit more light-hearted. Yeah. Yeah. Gina, um, hi Gina. This is from Charlotte Pearson. Hi, Charlotte. Please, can I have some advice for whether my career and finances will improve? Right. It's a lot about careers. Isn't tonight, it? Isn't Charlotte it? wants to know if. Uh, um, Fin would you say financial Finance and, and career, career will improve? Right, okay. The Emperor's been out. Right, again. Oh. Hmm. Are you self-employed? Let us know, um, Charlotte. Ooh, look. Mm. They're good cards. Now, the Emperor... It either stands for, in this situation, you've asked about your business, right, or your career. So it can stand for your boss, or it can stand for you being the boss, right? Now, the Ace of Wands, we've already had that out tonight. That's, a, that's a, um, the beginning of something new, and it starts with a fire. So, yes, absolutely, these are really good cards, but it looks as though either you work for a man who's very strong, or you the boss, because the emperor is, in this situation, is the boss figure. Ah. She's put. She's working with a friend. Oh no, who's this? Is Charlotte? Is it? Sorry, sorry. No, Charlotte's put. No, I'm employed. So right. So this could be a boss then, the emperor. Ask if it's. Could be. Is it? Is it a man you're working for, Charlotte? But yes, it, the really good cards. The Ace of Wands is all about um, new new beginnings and a fine new beginning. You know. There you go. Um, so definitely. And Paula has come back, you know, when you said, are you going to walk away from me? Oh, this yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Well, well met. I'm working my way through uni, marking level two papers, while studying to be an occupational therapist. <gasps> so you have... to eventually only have one job. So you have got to... Um... Well, she's marking papers, that could ah, be... Ah, yeah. So, yeah, right. she has, hasn't she, really? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Definitely. Um... I think it's time for a joke, do you? Go on. Shall we tell a joke? a joke? This fella has just had an operation, right? And he's got the oxygen mask on and he's just come out of the anaesthetic. And he goes, nurse, nurse, nurse. And my testicle's black. She says, what did you say? He said, and my testicle's black. She said, I don't know. I'll have a little look. So she, she gets... You know, and she looks under the covers and pulls his pyjamas down and has a little look. Another mention was Willie's ear, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Willie's are the thing yeah, tonight. Mad about the man. Yeah. Mad about Willie's. <laughs> so she says, they're perfectly fine, sir. He goes, I said, and me test results back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hopeless, you're hopeless. Oh, wait a minute, where have we gone? Hey, I don't know. Lauren Gibson, can I have a card, please? Hello, Lauren. Lots of people just asking for a card. Yeah, just a, just a card. card. Right, Lauren, right. Let's have a card for you. Lauren, what's in store for Lauren? What is in store for Lauren? The two of wands. Ooh, right. There's two opportunities coming to you. Oh, actually, if I go like that, you can't see, can you? Because the right I one's know, in the way. I know. You know. I should have been blonde. No disrespect to my blonde friends. <laughs> right. Actually, the, there's, there's two redheads in the room tonight. Yeah, but... Me and you? I know. Mine's not real. Well, neither is mine. It doesn't matter, <laughs> does it? doesn't matter if, if it's copper matter. out of a box. No, no. It doesn't matter no. if, like, the site is our best friend. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a tinge, actually. 
Okay. My grandfather was a redhead, so there's a tin. Oh, you will have a tin. Yeah, I've got a yeah, tin. Yeah, yeah, you will. I'm not saying anything. Right, um, tin, so I'll put it up tin. there. Tinge. Right, the two, I'll have to hold them there like that. Right, the two of wands is two opportunities, Lauren. So there's two things coming to you, right? Um, there could be men, there could be jobs, there could be invitations, but there's two flames. So there's two things coming to you. There you Choose go. wisely. Choose wisely. Did you know I went on a date the other night? Did you? I did, yeah. Um, <clears throat> I went on a date. He, he was a he was a um, chess enthusiast. It took him two hours to pass the salt. <laughs> I can't take you seriously. <laughs> <laughs> it's the way she tells me. <clears throat> I've worked um, with him. Oh. <laughs> did, you, did you? Yeah, did you? Yeah, yeah. Right. I worked with Frank Carson. Um, Perks of having your mother on the vlog. Katie Ferry. Can I have a random card, please? I'm content at the moment. I'm just wondering what's on the horizon. Oh, Katie! Let's have our kids. This is this is Lynn's daughter, yeah. right? Oh, I wonder if my mother's on the vlog tonight. She hasn't Betty's been Betsy. on yet. Come on, Betty. How are you, Betty? Give it, give it, give a little. Um, oh, she was helping me today when we carpooled. Oh, I thought I'd, I just thought I'd tell you. On Sunday, I'm having a little garage sale. I've done all me. Um, I've I've had a clean out of everything. Wow. Bags, shoes, clothes, jewellery, ornaments, you name it, wow. it's there. So, 10 o'clock, half past 12, on Sunday at Scarborough Street. Get yourselves down, there'll be 9 some to 13, stuff. 9 to 13 Scarborough Street, where I do my readings, um, car boat. Well, not really a car boat, it's like a garage sale, you know? Yeah. Um, Everything yeah. will go quick. Yeah, cheapest chips, everything's like... Pound, two pound, three pound, you know. I think the dearest thing there is six pound. Right. Oh, we're doing, Katie. We're doing your daughter. Right. Katie, what is in store for Katie? Right. What is in store for her? Ooh. <laughs> Look what she's got. Oh, oh Katie. Your mother knows. Yeah, All I'm going to say is after three. Go into the chapel and we gonna get married. Go into the chapel and we gonna get married. Been talking about it today. I really love you and you. Right. Can you say that? Can you say it? Ten of cups. The marriage card. So say now, really. There's enough said, really. There, isn't it? But when you. Get married, you and Andrew. We'll duet if you want. Yep. There you go. Or I can sing Ave Maria <laughs> in the background. There you go. <laughs> right, Deborah Howells. Can I have a random card, please? Yes, of course you can, Deborah. Right. Tell me if anybody, because the thing is, you know where it's like when I do readings. I never take second names. So if anybody's been to me for a reading, please say, I've been to you for a reading, Gina, so you know me. So can I have a card? Right. So I don't know whether Debbie's been to me or not. Right. Debbie, this is for you, my darling. Seven of Pentacles. Right. You can see with that light. Seven of Pentacles. Right. This is like a bit of a... Um, it's not good or it's not bad. Well, it's kind of good, but it's not excellent. It means you're going to get offered something, right? Now, I always call this the daffodil card because somebody... I'll just give you a scenario. You've got some daffodils, right? And they're just bulbs, right? So you're going to plant them. Now, somebody offers you some wonderful daffodils, which have all bloomed, mm. right? Do you take the, the new daffodils, which are all bloomed, or do you wait for your own bulbs to grow? Yeah. Are you patient? Are you patient about, mm. about something, or do you want to take a quick fix? So that's... I don't know whether that makes sense to you, but it's like saying, hmm... Let us know, Deborah. Let us know. Yeah. Trisha Thompson loves your hair tonight, Gina. Do you like my hair, Trish, tonight? Yeah. I've, I've, I've kind of... Do you know where it was? Last time we did this vlog, it was so hot. Yes, And I was. did all my hair last time, and then it was ringing wet because it was so, so boiling. Warm. And when you're a woman of a certain age, it's even worse, isn't it? I'll tell you when I get there. <laughs> 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 when 
Well, I'm just on the verge at the moment. It's bloody awful. I know. If, if anybody's going through the same thing, I can see that. Done that. Yeah, bloody awful. Oh, we've got Paul here. Paul Hogg. Hiya, Gina. Hiya, Paul. I remember him from last time. After yes, the I last remember. cards I got, I'm a bit worried. Is he going to make the right decision? Are you going to make the right decision? I have a feeling that you got the um, the skate, the Shady Bass little card last time. He wants to know about what he asked you earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah, I know, I know what he's asked about. Yeah, yeah, but I think you got now when you get the skate. When you get the Shady Bath's got the card, it just means somebody's keeping the cards close to the chest, you see, so they might not be telling you how they really feel. It doesn't mean to say the lions here. It's just... Right, let's have a look. <laughs> right. Yes, you're making the right decision. We won't hold this one up, then. We won't hold this one up, um, but it's the Knight of Cups. So I would, um, I know Paul doesn't really want anybody to know about this because it's a little bit um, hush hush. Uh, Google the Knight of Cups, Paul. That's all we need no to say. Um, Joe's made me laugh here. I would, I would, jo, Joanne here. Jo! One of our witches. Hi, Gina. Can I have a card, please, to find out if I should bother shaving my legs on Saturday? <laughs> She wants to know if you if you're gonna pull on Saturday night, right? I'll I'll just. I hope up. you shave them anyway, Joe. Yes. <laughs> Don't come to my class with hairy legs. Right. Talking of which, that Louise is quiet tonight. I know she, she is. No. Don't oh, shave your legs. It's not worth Joe. the razor. It's not worth the price of the razor. I think you're gonna have a bloody good night because I'm going out, so you exactly. will have a good night. Uh, but you've got the hangman, so. Hey. Nah, he's not coming yet, darling. No, he's not here yet for you. No, but we are, we will have a good night. We always do. Jury but Twydale, can she have a card, please? Shall we use another pack now? For yeah. For a change. Let's use the, the... Julie. These are the cosmic cards. Right. So this is Julie. Do you just want a card of the week, Julie? Right. Card of the week for Julie. I knew you were going to pick that one. Did you? That was sticking up. That was meant to come out, that one. Three, sir. Right. Three of wands. Now, the three of wands, right, means keep positive because your ship is coming in. Now, if you'd got the four of wands, it would mean that your ship's actually in and it's at the dock and the gangway's down and you're going to climb up, up the gangway and to start a new journey. Metaphorical journey. That's a big word isn't it it is. for a Thursday. But the three of wands means that stay positive because your ship is coming in. It's just in the ocean at the moment and it's coming towards you slowly. So something nice is happening. So the song I'd choose for this would be... Um, what's that one by Herman, Her, Herman Hermits? Herman's Hermits. Oh, I used to love Peter Noon. He was my hero. Did you? Oh, I loved Peter Noon. I went out with a guy that looked like Peter Noon once. You have to be a certain Which song are you thinking of? Something tells me I'm into something good. Oh, I had all the albums. Yes. There you go. Yes, yeah, so something's coming for you. Uh, Emily Louise wants a Hi, card, Emily. please. Is this just a card? Card of the week, eh? Okay, she's laughing at us on here for our singing. That's not right, is it? No. no. Stop laughing, you. <laughs> Good, good job she's not but in my she said audience. thank you. <laughs> no, I should be fine with you. I think it's me. <laughs> <laughs> right. Who is this for again? Emily. Emily. Emily, card of the week. Let's have a look, Emily. Right. Oh, the Six of Swords. Are you going away? Are you going away? Because... The Six of Swords is all about, well, it means two things, the Six of Swords, right? It either means you're going abroad and you're crossing the water. It's a seafarer's card, usually. Or it means if you've been in the rough water, Emily, you're coming out of the rough water and you're going into the smooth waters. So it's a nice card anyway. So if, if you're not going away soon, it means that you're coming out of the rough water and going into the smooth. So it's a nice card. There you go. So tell us if you're going away. Joanne Hull. Hi, Gina. Hi, Lynn. Can I have a card, please? Joanne I need Hull. a boost. Joanne Hull. Oh, I thought you said Hull. Joanne Hull. 
you always, always <laughs> hold. Hit you. Look, look. Life would be so miserable though if you didn't have a dirty mind. No, I know. Oh, hi, Julie Morgan from Sunny. Hi, Spain. Julie! Hey, don't be bending your baps. Got the wonderful baps. <laughs> We've all had a fail. We've all had a fail, so we know what goes on in which class stays in which class. <laughs> right, who, who was this for again? Uh, look, you've lost. Oh, uh, sorry. Who was this for? Joanne. Joanne. Joanne, Joanne Hall, that's it. Joanne, card of the week. Joanne. Right. Hey, how funny how many, how many times that lots, card's been out. This is the card that I've just got a few minutes ago, the three ones, which means, stay optimistic, Herman Hermit. Something tells me I'm into something good. Stay optimistic, right, Joanne, because your ship's coming in. It's not in yet, but it's just about to come in. So stay optimistic. Some of good's coming, coming in your life. Um, oh, this is it. This, oh, Sorry, go on, go on. Go on. Um, Jenny Morse, I really appreciate learning the correct meanings of the tarot mm. cards, as these meanings are not in the books. Please, can you tell me if I will be a successful tarot card reader? Right, okay. Mm. Yes, that's the thing. When I first started um, doing tarot, obviously I was only a kid. My nana taught me when I was 10, you know, I used to do them all at school and everything. But I, when I got into it really seriously, I bought a few books, you know. And my God, you get a tarot book and there's that much... Awful, you can't... Like, for one card, there's that... And you think, well, which meaning do you speak? And if, is, is a card reversed? Does that mean... Now, I never go with reverse meanings, because I always mm. think... Like, a reverse meaning is... Um, is it like that? Is it the, the other way around? So, when a book says reverse meaning, it just means upside down, which has a totally different um, meaning. And sometimes they're different in different parts. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So, I always think... You know, you wouldn't look a picture on the wall and, and it'd, be, it'd be reversed. So, I always read them upright, Right. And also, I always associate every card with a song, and it's a lot easier. And I just think a card just needs to be simple, like the meaning of it, so you remember it. Because if it's too much, it, it's just overwhelming when you're first learning the cards. It really is, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know? Lord, well, obviously, this is helping her, she's there. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Lots of people coming to see you, or being just being to see you and saying thank you. It's a um, pleasure. It's a pleasure. Uh, Linda, sorry Linda, I don't know how to pronounce your surname. Oh, no, no, I'm, just, I'm just doing oh, this card oh, first, sorry. this girl. She said she wanted to know if she'd be a successful tarot reader, didn't she? Oh, of course, sorry. Yeah, let me just do this first. You will do. Actually, you're very good at reading questions. <laughs> I just don't want to miss anybody else. Will you be a success? Yes, absolutely. you got the two of ones. A lot of ones yeah, out tonight, isn't it? The two yeah. of ones is all about two opportunities. Um, so there must be there must be something else you're going to do as well as reading the cards. Mm -hmm. But yes, ones are always good cards usually. There's not many bad cards in the in the suit of ones. So yes, you are keep, going to be keep successful. At it, yeah. Keep at it. And if you're local, you need to come to my classes. Definitely. I was just going to say I should be into the classes. Mm. Linda, again, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Y-N-W-A. Can I have a card for finances? Isn't that the village people, Sam? No? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And can you tell me what crystals to get, please? For what, though? I, I think she means finances. Oh, finances, right. Finances. Well, I would, I've would. i just got a crystal for a lady today. Um, she's a lovely Sandra. I just got her. And it's a three-legged toad. Now, you know the three-legged toads? Have you seen the three-legged toads? You get them in, like, Chinese shops. Oh, yeah, things, yeah. yeah three-legged yeah. toads. And it was a jade one. Right. Because jade and adventuring, adventuring... Uh, 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 the crystals of luck yeah. and abundance, mm -hmm. right? So venturine is a really good crystal to get. Anything green, yeah, greens are really good. Um, citrine is for citrine is a more happiness. Hair. It's more happiness and positivity and sunshine. But for money yeah. and, uh, and and for luck, you want an adventuring, adventuring or a jade because that's that's you know. But a three legged toad. You need to get one, or if you can't get one, I can get you one. Um, and you need to put the coin in the mouth, and then, and then you face the toad in over with the coin, so the yeah. money's the money's coming to you. Where if you pl place the toad like that, yeah. the money's going out. Do you right. know what I mean? But I would say venturing. I know and, uh, what you mean. Now I thought when you said have you seen a three-legged toad, I thought you would tell a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you thought that was a... No. Paul Hogg said he's just Googled it. Amazing. I'll let you know how it goes. Thank you. It's a pleasure, Paul. So, 
Linda wants to know if her finances are going to improve. Yeah. Right, so you need to get an adventure in. And you need to start doodling pound signs. Mm. You know, whatever, like I always say before, whatever you put out, whatever you put your energy into, you attract. Let me just tell you a point. I just want to say this. This was weird. I don't know whether anyone's seen that Jade Goody interview, uh, the, the story of Jade Goody last night, right? Now, she didn't deserve to get, nobody deserves no. to die, apart from Hitler. But you know what I mean? Nobody deserves to, to get cancer. Uh, you know, it was a horrible way that she died. Mm. But it was just something strange. They were all India hated it, didn't they? Mm. I mean, she did bully that girl. I, I understand that. And I don't like bullies. However, she didn't deserve to get what she got. And it was awful, leaving two children. But all these thousands of people in India were burning effigies of yeah. Jane Goody. And then she got cancer. And I just thought, wow, what? Was that wished on her? Was that, was that wished on her? Yeah, it's like, I think whatever you put your energy into, kind of... You attract, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So if you were just sat on the phone and you're doodling hearts, you know, if you were looking for love, doodle hearts all the time. Yeah. Put your energy into, you know, get your vision board and put hearts on that. You know, co concentrate on love all the time and you'll attract it. And if you're looking for money, mm -hmm. when, you, when you're on the phone, I'm just saying when you're on the phone, you know when you're on the phone yeah, and you're you doodling, sitting, doodling, when you're just yeah. sitting, doodle dollar signs or pound signs. Like if you want to go to America, you would, you would doodle dollar signs yeah. you know what I mean yeah. just keep doodling and um, pound signs all the time you know um, and keep thanking for what's coming that's what I do oh, all the time definitely every day gratitude yeah gratitude is the biggest yeah. thing so if you have got say like your dream would be to go to New York right every day you get up and you say thank you for my wonderful life and thank you for my trip to New York yeah you know gratitude is the biggest way mourning about things just attracts more negativity yeah. and more things to mourn about we well, definitely agree with all that don't we yes don't we just i'm glad to um report that uh joanne's going to shave her legs anyway <laughs> <laughs> well that makes two of us so check right who was this for again is uh, there linda. money linda Linda, is your money situation going to improve? Right, you've got the Seven of Swords. Hmm. Which means somebody's... Does somebody owe you money, Linda? Or is somebody being a little bit shady with money? Um, or somebody keeping something from you? That's what I think. Just be careful of your purse. Oh. Or have you had a little... Not a break-in, but somebody taking something from you. Because the Seven of Swords is usually... I always call it the shady back got the card. It's like somebody's either being shady or sometimes it can mean a, a, a um, burglary. Not a burglary, but somebody taking something. Yeah. So be careful. It's not a good one, is no, it? No, not, not usually. Sorry, Linda. Just be careful with that one. Kate Warlow's asked a few times, can she have a card? Please? Hi, Kate! Yes. This is for you. This is just obviously a week one, is it? Just a just a card of the week, right? Oh, wow, well, okay. She said there's a few orbs flying behind us. Oh, good. good. The really? Thanks, Katie. Oh, wonderful. Oh, the Ten of Cups, kids. Have you just met somebody? Because the Ten of Cups is there. Go to the chapel and win. Gonna get married. Go to the chapel and win. Gonna get married. <laughs> well, we, have, we have a few hats to buy this year, haven't we? <laughs> so, Kate, if there isn't a fella coming into your life, there will be. No, if, the, if there isn't a fella now, yeah. there'll be one coming soon. <laughs> yeah, we'll have to get those help. This uh, fellow. Oh, sorry, I'm got, I, no, I'm interested in no. this. No. Katie said orbs, and Steph said she's noticed them too. The orbs! The orbs. Oh. Tell people about the orbs. I'll just tell. Yes, I'll tell you about orbs now. You can only see orbs with either a camera or a video. You can't see them with a naked eye, right? And orbs are spirit. So there must be a few spirit yeah. around. Oh, I hope it's our dance. Yeah. I hope it's our dance tonight. That'd be lovely. Wouldn't, wouldn't that be nice? That'd be lovely. Wouldn't that be nice if I was um, our, our I think dance? We've got stuck. Oh, my nana. I think we're stuck. There's are we error. stuck again? Is there an error? Right, I'll just keep on talking. You know, don't worry I if it's see anything now, You can't so. see anything right, okay. Don't worry if it freezes, um, folks, because it, you know it does now and again. It does it does freeze the screen. When you're doing a live video, it does freeze now and again, so don't worry. Oh, Can okay. I read there? Steph uh no We're Kate back. No not anyone. 
Beth, <laughs> Bethy, can I have a reading, please? Right, I'll just give you a card then, Beth, right? I'll just give you a card. Um, oh, somebody else has seen the orbs. Have you seen the orbs? <gasps> so there must be a lot. Oh, there must be some spirit oh, yeah, around say, tonight. Let us, oh, let no, us, say, say yes. Let we like know. vocal people. And if anybody wants me to tell another joke, just let me know. I'll sing a song. Right, who's this for, Bethy? Oh, the King of Swords, right. The King of Swords is somebody who either wore a uniform or wears a uniform. It could be an air sign man, Libra, Gemini or Aquarius. It could be a boss. It could be a lawyer. It could be a policeman. It could be a doctor. So somebody of that nature is... Um, in your life soon, but I don't know whether, I don't, it's not usually romantic, but let's just have a look, Bethy. Let's just have a look. Let's pick another card. Um, right, the High Priestess. The High Priestess is all about psychic ability. So maybe if somebody comes into your life, the King of Swords, it's usually a man over 40, and you get a feeling about him, whether it's bad or good, listen to your gut, mm -hmm. because you will be spot on. The High Priestess is all about psychic ability, and um, you know, listening to your good feeling. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna see if our dads are here. Shall I see if our dads are Somebody here? Somebody here. Shall, I, shall I see if our dads are here? About four people said that they're, they're looking at these orbs. So what card would we get if our dads were here? The emperor. Right. Definitely. Right. I'm just gonna. aren't marked right i mean look at that the emperor so those orbs that you see in forks those orbs so when, when you can see the emperor there right this is can you believe that they're here they're here with us tonight oh oh that's lovely my dad would be saying well you just should up telling jokes and get on with that blog <laughs> Oh, oh, my dad. There he is, my dad, look. Oh. There's my dad up there with a the snooker cue. Can you see? That, that one there with a the oh, flag. Yeah. He didn't even smoke. And he, he, yeah. he, he, that was his selfie to me. That was about 20-odd year ago, that. Oh. Oh. He's not literally there. No, he's not. No, this is just a photograph of him on the wall. Oh, that's my little oh. gallery of people. I haven't got one up there. Are you? Well, I'll have to put one of you up there. <coughs> oh. this, people are going, oh, that's this, this fella goes to the uh, This fella goes to the doctors and he says, uh, Doctor, I've been bitten by a wolf. He says, where? He says, no, just an ordinary wolf. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you remember all these jokes. <laughs> I'm not sure what this means. Annette Lamb Graves, the lion from The Wizard of Oz. Oh, if I <laughs> were king. <laughs> I used to do that when I worked with Annette, when I was worked for Raphael. Uh, <laughs> You do it every week. I do it every week, you? yeah. And I still do it. I did it when she I was does. 14 and I still she do does. it. It was my very first impression. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give Annette a card, please? <laughs> now that you've done the impression. She deserves a card. Right. This is a card for you, Annette. Can you remember Raphael's? His trousers were so tight, you could read the washing instructions on his underpants. <laughs> right. You could say what religion he was. <laughs> he used to go, he used to, he used, he used to have a very thin, th I don't know if anybody remember Raphael when I used to work for Raphael. He used to have very thin lips, Raphael. And he used to have a fag dangling. And he used to be cutting your hair with a fag out of his mouth. Can you remember this? He used to be, like, this was in the 80s, you know. Well, well is it late 70s? No, like, uh, like early 80s. Yeah. He used to be cutting your hair. And he had a fag, that oh, actually, I did that. <coughs> Cut me out with a fag? Yeah, years ago everybody used to smoke, didn't they? Yeah. Like, uh, just did, yeah. cup of tea and your fag, and you'd be, are you going out tonight, Pat? That's everybody's hair, must just. He do. used to say to me, he used to go, used to do, you're such a bloody gobba gobshite. <laughs> got that right then? <laughs> I'll ignore that. Right. Oh, and next you've got the Six of Wands, which is one of the best cards in the pack. Yeah. The Six of Wands is success. It's positivity, it's accomplishment, it means um, Jason's found the golden fleece. If anyone has seen um, Jason the Argonauts, um, that's an 80s, 70s, 80s film. No, 60s, 70s, Jason the Argonauts, would oh, you say? Know. Anyway, Jason goes around the world and he's, he's all about um, looking for this golden fleece because it has magical powers. And in this card, he finds the golden fleece. So it's saying success and accomplishment and positivity in it so yeah
So there Joe you Banks go. is saying the light's slightly flickering as well. Ask him a question and see if the light flickers. Really? Well, I think we know people are going, they've got goosebumps. Really? Now. Have yeah. they? Yeah. Wow. When, you, when we pick that emperor out. I right. Know. Okay then, Dad. Right. Okay. What, what can we ask him to show us? Uh, Just wouldn't be a dirty, would they? Because the dirty thing came up. Yeah, the dirty thing come up before. Mm. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll ask him, because I've just been doing the lion. We'll ask him to show us a lion, right? Now, yes. there's two cards in the, in the pack that have a lion on. And that's the strength card yeah. and the queen of wands. Right. So I'm just going Oh my god. Oh my god. She's just picked those and spread them into four. Can anyone see that card? The light's in oh. the way, isn't it? The card, I don't know that anybody can see that. It's the Queen of Wands with a lion. You said the Queen of Wands. That is actually me. Yeah. That is a Leo woman. Oh my god. Oh. I can't believe I cannot believe that. This doesn't usually happen on air, does it? No. This happens every week in the coven. But it doesn't happen on and air. We all say you wouldn't believe it unless you actually were here and seen it. Hi, John. Hi, oh, John. John Hi, John. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Giovanni, Giovanni. Yeah. <laughs> oh, bless him. Yeah, yeah I was just Joanne doing that, wasn't it? She remembers him. Oh, who, who said that? Who, who said Joanne that? Joanne called. Oh. Uh, Shall we pick a card off for you? Yeah. Shall I pick a card off for you? What would it be for me, do you think? For my dad. Let's see, see who's here with you. Yeah. Because even the when the emperor came out, it might not have been for both our dads. It might have just been for yours or mine. I don't know. But the fact that my dad just showed me a lion and I was doing the lion impression. Yeah. I wonder if it, it could be something about um, where I've just been to see my niece. Let me just... Because that was... Uh... Right, I've got my eyes closed. Look. <gasps> right! Oh God! You couldn't write. You'll have to tell them the story about this because I'm, I'm just. We all have spirit guide, and I've See. known for a long time that my spirit guide is called Lawrence, and he always comes up as the hierophant. And the first card she's picked for me is the hierophant. So who's around me at the minute is my spirit guide. Is your spirit this guide. is just that this is, is just off the scale. This is this is spooky. This it like. is spooky. The, this this these really, are the orbs that are around. These us. are the orbs. Let me just oh look, I've just flipped over the world. Oh, I hope that was for me. Oh I've got the world me. on a string. Let me just tell you how your spirit guide works, right? Everybody has a spirit guide. So the minute you know, people often ask me as well. <clears throat> What's the difference, Gina, between... Sorry, I'm just... Somebody said an orb has just come down and gone across your face. Really? But she did. I, sh I, I, I should have went... <laughs> I wish you could you. see them. Yeah. I know. We can't see them, but you can see well, you them. Can, can, yeah, we can. You, you can only see them on video. This has turned into all about Lynn and Gina now. I, I know, hasn't <laughs> this? This is how we show them now. <laughs> Book for everybody else. Hey, no, I'm, only I'm, I'm only kidding. I'm only kidding. Let me just oh, tell you something oh, about right. your spirit guides, right? Let me just tell you about your spirit guides, right? People often ask me, right? <clears throat> Gina, how do you stay so young looking? <laughs> I'm sure you do. No, I'm, I'm, only, I'm only kidding. I'm only joking. No, <clears throat> people often ask me, what's the difference between an angel, a guardian angel, <coughs> and a spirit guide, you see. Now, a guardian angel, angels are di a direct descendants from God, right? So they have never been earthbound, they've never ever been, they've never walked about yeah. earth, you know what I mean? So, an angel, you won't have your own particular angel. So, if there's been a plane crash or something, or if there's been a car crash, you know when people say they felt somebody pull them up? from yeah. the wreckage well yeah. that would just be a general angel like you know angel gabriel or yeah. <coughs> michael after you. 
So yeah. angels kind of look after the universe. But when you were born, the minute you were born, you were assigned a spirit guide, and that spirit guide will be with you till you pass over. Now, it won't be a family member. It's very, very rare that your spirit guide's a family member because this person has to have died, had to have died a long time before you were actually born. Because they have to look after you from the other side the minute you were born, right? Now, when you, um, I first found out my spirit guide, oh, about 25 years ago, and they call her Rose, and I seen her in a meditation once, yeah. and she's a big black lady, she looks like, um, Mammy out of um, Gone with the Wind, yeah. or, or a little bit like Oprah, yeah. when she was at her biggest, because she has this, she had this big straw hat on covered in roses, right. and, um, and I've got a name three times. They always show you the name three three times. They always do. So yeah. when you go to bed tonight, if you just say, if, you, if you're curious about finding out who your spirit guide is, <coughs> excuse me, got a tickle. <coughs> if you just say, please, spirit guide, if you're ready to connect with me, can you show me a name? Show me your name three times in the world. It's amazing. And it might not happen tomorrow, mm. but if you keep on asking, oh, yeah. it happens to you, didn't it? It happened with me, yeah. <coughs> Would you do me a little further? <coughs> Would you get me a glass of water? You can't go around that way because the, the wires, you'll have to go around the other way. Sorry, I'm just going to um, talk a little bit. She's just getting me. <coughs> I think an orb's flew in my mouth. I think it's because I went. <coughs> I think it's flew in my mouth. Right, let me just tell you a little joke um, before um, I get a drink of water. Right, this fella goes into the jungle and he sees this. <laughs> he sees this monkey, right? And he's got a banana in one hand and he's got a. Um, Pull it down, Lynn. Yeah. Have you got? Have you got it? Have you got it? So he he sees this monkey in the jungle, and he's got a banana in one hand, and he's got a can opener in the other hand, and the fella says to him, to the monkey, "You don't need a can opener to open the banana." And the monkey goes, "This is for the custard." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, darling. Is this vodka? I think we're going to have a vodka after this um, blog. Right. Are you ready? I'm ready. That's amazing, isn't it? And you know, all that time when you said your dad didn't come through very often in this. I know. Since that time I got him. I know. He comes it's regularly just, It's now, just amazing. It? It, it really is. It really Once is. you get into this, it'll change your life. It will really. Yeah. And right. I'm glad that people have seen it. Have seen Right. Well, that doesn't. That never happened last time, did it? When we were on it, no. we were just doing the cards. But obviously, if spirit want to get through, they'll get through. You know. Right. Let's have a look. Cause we've What's the difference between a peep and tom and a pickpocket? One know. snatches your watch, and the other one watches you snatch. <laughs> hey, my goodness. Hey. <laughs> How do people get through life without a sense of humour? Exactly. How do they do it, Lynn? We wouldn't know, would we? No. Lana Halton, she's put, it's the first time watching. She's not sure why people are asking for cards, but can she have one? <laughs> of course you can, Lana. This is, this is Lana, is it? Uh, Lana. Yes, Lana. Oh, Lana. Is this Lana? I think I know Lana. Um, I have a feeling I might know Lana. <clears throat> I think I have a feeling I might know her. Yeah, I think I have a feeling. Right, you would like a card of the week, would you, Lorna? Right. People are calling you Tracy on here. Are they calling it's me Tracy? Confuse them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just tell you um, a funny story. When I was, I'll just pick a card out for Lorna and yeah. then I'll tell you. Uh, right, let's have that one. Right. Oh, that's a nice card, oh, isn't it? The that's temperance a lovely card. card. Yeah. Right, Lorna, I don't know what bit, I don't know what you do for a living, but are you a light worker? Do you work with people? Do you help other people? Usually, the temperance would represent somebody who was a teacher, a nurse, um, uh, um, a carer, mm. a support worker, a, a social worker, somebody even that does healing and reading cards. So, but generally that just means everything's going to be fine. It's, you've got the rainbow around everything. It, 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 oh, it's, it's a lovely card. It means everything's going to be all right. Um, it's a lovely card. Let but, us know what you do, Lorna. <clears throat> but it usually means that you're a light worker, Lorna. Or, or you could be a light worker, even if you're not. Or, or, you, are, or you are a light worker and you just go and get paid for it. What was yeah. I going to tell you about there? Oh, I was going to tell you. When I first started singing, right... I was only, I was about 28 when I first started singing and uh, I went from being a hairdresser to a singer, literally within a few weeks, right? Yeah. And the agent who, um, I can't remember his name now, 
like somebody. Oh no, wasn't it with was it Mike? Anyway, the agent who I first got, he said to me, you can't have a name like Tracy in show business. Yeah. But then again, it hasn't done that other Tracy any harm, has it? Tracy, eh? Is there another girl? Is there another person in show business called Tracy? No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there is. Tracy Ullman. <laughs> Didn't do every arm. Bruce <laughs> called Tracy because she's from Hartley Cole and he said yeah, they'll think you dance around your handbag and with black Sheep. tights and white selectors Sheep. that's what he said and I said I don't want to change my name so what are you going to have to <laughs> so Gina was in my family you see Gina because you know my family's Italian mm. Gina Pontoni and I thought oh Gina Pontoni that goes quite well Gina Pontoni so um, I uh, I decided on Gina Pontoni anyway my first audition did I tell it on the last blog or not? Yeah, I think so. Or oh, did I? Oh, I did I? I won't tell it then. I think you did. I think I did, didn't um, I? Wait to your mummy. Betty's watching. Hi, Mum. Love you. Hey. Love you. Sorry you're missing your soaps, aren't you? <laughs> Kirsty Butchery. Katie Ferry, is this your mum? Yes, it's her mum. <laughs> uh, she helped me today with my car, with, with my oh. garage, so, well, putting all the, uh, putting all the things up and everything. Jeannie Harrison Harmon, this is not fair. How about me? Let's give. How Jean about Let's you? Let's give Jeannie one. I tried to get through. Them. What? What's the, is that a song? I like New York in June. How about you? I like a Gershwin. Show. I thought you were going to sing something about Jeannie. How about there. you? <laughs> it's a uh, How about you, Frank Sinatra? I like New York in She June. must have asked a few times. Jane, go that sorry, quick, I go that people. quick. I know, just, just keep just asking. You, and we will get to you, we will get to you. Right, Janie, this is for you. Right. Oh, the Empress. Is there somebody oh. pregnant at the moment? Is it you? Let us know. Could it be the Immaculate Conception? Um, the Empress stands for two things. It can stand for your mother. It's funny the fact we've just been talking about my mum, the yeah. Empress come up, but this is for Jeannie. Um, it can stand for pregnancy, it can stand for you being the mother, you know, the Empress is the, the Empress of everything, the mother, the mother figure, the nurturing card, but it can also mean pregnancy, or it can also mean, if you're single, it can mean a man that makes you feel like the Empress. Oh, wow. So it means... What was that? I don't know. It was a bit of a noise. It was a funny, it? Like it a was a funny noise. It was like a duck quack. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see any ducks, folks? Betty said, it's your mum now, so no more ru rude jokes, you naughty girl. I didn't say I haven't said any rude jokes. Shall I, shall I tell a clean one? Shall I tell a clean yeah, one? tell a clean one. <coughs> this fella um, <coughs> needs... It. Did I tell this last time? Um, it's two, two fellas see your head on a building site. No. Does it look so These this is clean. These this is just for Betty. This is just my mother. The, these two fellas are on a building site, and one of them says to the other one, "Hey, there's a head over there." He said, "I know that fella. He lives around the corner from me." And his mate says, "Well, I think you should take the head to his wife and let her know that he's been decapitated." He said, "I will." So he gets the head like this, and he puts it behind his back, and he knocks at this door, and this woman answers, and he says, "Hello, do they call your husband Frank?" She says, yes, they do. He goes, has he got a really big nose? She says, yes, he has. He goes, has he got long black sideburns? She says, yes, he has. He goes, moustache? She said, yes, he has. He goes, is this him? She says, no, he's taller than that. <laughs> Hey. <coughs> I think I've swallowed one of them orbs. Joe's asking if she can have a card. Joe, who told us about the uh, the light, can she have a card? Third time looking. Of course you can, Joe. Keep asking because it goes round. Goes and, round. Uh, yeah. <coughs> it goes round so quick. Are we doing time? Are we all right? Uh, e, do you know we've been on an hour and five minutes? <coughs> Excuse me. Do you think this is this is going to be more fun than Emmerdale? Oh, Miss the Miss Emmerdale and Coronation Street. Oh no, Coronation Street's not in the first, is it? No. It's just Emmerdale. No, they'd rather be watching us than Emmerdale. Joe! Oh, this is what Paul got, the 
Knight of Cups. Is there somebody coming into your life? I wonder. Are you with a person at the moment? See, when you're married and you get this card, it usually means um, you're going to renew your vows or there's going to be some kind of um, invitation or somebody's, like your husband is going to plan something for you. Right. Right? Right. But if you're not married and you get this card, it usually means a proposal. Right. Or an offer or an invitation. So it's it's your knight in shining armor. There so there you go. So if you haven't got a man, shave your legs. If you have got a man, shave your legs as well, because he's going to offer you something. There you go. Diane Greg, come on, Tracy, give me a card. Hi, Diane. Diane, lovely friend. I've known Diane. Wow, <laughs> Raphael's. When I worked for Raphael, you remember Raphael, can you, Diane? Right, Diane, this is for you, darling. I hope you're all right. Diane, right. Diane, right. The Empress, is somebody pregnant, Diane? The same cards are coming The same cards. And I mean, I can't you see. No, you shuffle. And, and I give you, them a good yeah. shuffle. Diane, you've got the Empress, which I've just had for that other lady. So this is saying, this is for Jane, wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so, um... I don't think it'll be you that's pregnant, Diane. I think you're a similar age to me, so you're probably going through that awful stage. Um, <laughs> she might not be. No, she is. She's, I think she's oh. a year older than me, so she'll be probably going through it. Oh, you know, I think so. For the hot. Okay. So the whole world knows now, Diane. And they're crying. And they're crying a lot. Actually, I don't cry much these days. No. It's HRT, marvellous. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Sorry for the people who only thought I was 30. Sorry to disappoint you. I'm 75, I look good on it, don't I? <laughs> right, so uh, Diane, it's either a pregnancy or you're going to meet somebody who makes you uh, very um, sensuous. Oh. Feel sensuous. Oh. Or your mother's come through to say hello. We'll have to, we'll have to do Pat Gallagher because she's Paul's Demmerdale. <laughs> she wants an interesting card because she's Paul's Demmerdale. You've Paul's Demmerdale. <laughs> You've paused Emmerdale, right. Did you want a drink? I didn't know. Would you like a gin? No, thank you. Wouldn't it be funny if we did this drunk? No. I think this would be hysterical. We've had enough. Wouldn't this be hysterical? Maybe next time. <coughs> I, think, I, I think we'll do this drunk and in fancy dress. Wouldn't this be good if we were both dressed as Carmen Miranda <laughs> with a gin in our hand? <laughs> <laughs> right, Pat. I don't think we're drunk now. This is your cat, and we're not, you know, that's just water, you know. We're high on life, aren't we? Hey. Right. Pat, this is for you. This is for you. Right, Pat. The same cards keep coming out. Right, the six of wands, Pat, is all about success, positivity, Jason finding the golden fleece, so it's a wonderful card. So it's just gorgeous, the yeah. six of wands. Yes, you're going to have a really good week. Go. Really good week. And Amy Lockwood, it's her birthday. So oh, a you're a fellow card. Leo, Happy Amy. Birthday. You're a fellow Leo like me. <laughs> so you'll have a big heart, you'll probably have big hair and a big gob like me. Oh, Jeannie, who you've just done, and you've got the Empress, she's put. Um, Yes, her daughter-in-law's pregnant. Oh, so that's, that's nice. why you've got the empress. Wow, isn't that amazing? That's lovely, yeah. Right, so this is this is this Amy's birthday. Amy, Amy right. Lockwood. Again, Knight of Cups. I was going to say the nine then. The Knight of Cups. So, are you in a relationship, Amy? If you are, is he? Do you think he's on the verge of proposing? Or if you're not in a relationship, it looks as though. Uh, there's a lot of shaving of legs tonight, so if you're not in a relationship, girly, there's a, a knight, in, uh, knight in shining armour coming your way with a big cup of love in his hand. <laughs> Louise hasn't said anything rude. She hasn't been on now. No? Why haven't you said anything rude? It's not like you, Louise. So, um, yes, tell us if you were the guy, Amy. We've got Dawn Brown. I don't mind missing the subs to receive a card from you, please. Dawn! She said. <coughs> Dawn. Oh, thank you, Joanne Hull. Lynn, you're doing fab. Great watching you too. Thanks for my card. Oh, it's a thank pleasure. You. It's an absolute pleasure. And if anybody wants to ask any questions, you know, um, about the cards and how they work or crystals or anything, just... Um, so is this for again? This one is for um, Dawn. Brown. Oh, Dawn. Dawn. 
She's missing her subs. Too. Oh, Dawn. <gasps> That's been out about three times. Yeah. The Ace of Wands. Right, there's something new coming into your life, Dawn. The Ace of Wands, and it's going to come along with a fire. Because the Ace of Wands is a fire card. So it's all about a fire and um, something starting with a big blaze and wonderful. New house, okay. new job, new beginning, new chapter in your life. Perfect. They're getting lovely cards tonight. You are. We haven't had many bad ones, no. have we? Julie Richards has asked a few times. Can can we ask about her, Hi, new, Julie. her new venture? Hi, Julie. She keeps coming round. Is this today. our Julie? I think, it, yeah. I, I think it's our Julie. Is this our, our Julie, Julie that does the common? Oh, Louise is with us. She's watching. There'll be something rude. There'll be something rude so. coming up, yeah. Right. Uh, right, so this is for Julie. Oh, oh I never, you never believe this. I shuffled them, didn't I? You did. Ace of Wands, Julie, yes, absolutely. You know what the Ace of Wands means because you come to me coven. Yeah. New beginning, something that will start with a blaze, a new chapter in your life. Absolutely wonderful card. And then we've got Claire Guttridge. Is Hi, her, Claire. Is her love life going to pick up? Is your love life going to pick up? Right. Let's split them. I sometimes like doing the splits. And do love, and then the... Actually, the I can't only do problem the... is once I get down, I can't get back up again. <laughs> actually, I can't do the splits with my hip. <clears throat> I never could, actually. I could never do the splits. But you can blame your hip now. I can blame your hip. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Definitely. Go going to, to the chapel and we're going to get, get married. <laughs> Yes, somebody is coming into your life because you've got the Ten of Cups. Three times that's been out. We have to think of another song for that, don't we? Or we have to... No, because I think it's expected now. I think it is expected. It's the Ten of Cups is all about marriage <laughs> or living together or making that commitment with somebody. So, yes, you are going to meet someone. Julie Morgan's watching us from Spain and she's asked us a few times, can she have a card about a new career? A new career? Mm. Oh, what's this new I career, Julie? Uh, I hope she's not starting a new career in Spain. I Maybe hope you're not, because we miss you with class. Get your little ass back. Don't burn it in Spain with that eight. How is Julie's career, new career, going to go? Mm. Eight of swords. Don't feel... Mm, let's have another one. Don't feel trapped, Julie. Don't feel trapped. Oh... Right, you got the ten of, ten of Wands and the Eight of Swords, which means that you're feeling mm -hmm. a little bit overwhelmed yeah. by something, but don't tie yourself into something you can't get out of, because the Eight of Swords is all about entrapment, isn't it? So I would say, read the small print and just make sure that you're absolutely 100% sure before you do it, and read the small print, that's what I would say for that one. Sorry, you can't always get a nice card, can you? Or it might just be out no, of your I Sorry, I'm reading this. There's lots of questions coming in about the tarot. What's yeah. the difference between tarot cards and angel cards? That's from Trisha Thompson. Right, that's a really good question, that. What's question. the difference between tarot cards and angel cards? Right, angel cards are more to do with affirmations, right? So when you do an angel card, when you pick an angel card, they might say, be gracious or, um, you know... Um, you're getting healing sent today or yeah. <coughs> mine sometimes say study or um mm. relax or yes. you know if it thinks you're or open your heart, open your heart or that, that type of thing. Another song. Open your heart to me. Don't know that baby. One. Oh, do you know? Madonna. <laughs> you're a professional, you know. Yes, I am professional. Sense. Yes. I've turned trip for many years. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so angel cards are all more to do with affirmations and what you should do to progress in your life, you know. So like yeah. Lynn says, you know, try and relax more or you maybe get a card to say, you know, think about the good things in your life and <clears throat> and be grateful or, um, you know, open your heart more or where the cards are kind of predictive, aren't they? Yeah. So the kind of, the cards, right, I'll tell you, I always feel as though there's, there is a snapshot of your life. So when you're picking the cards out, <clears throat> you've picked 10 cards out, and you're kind of taking a snapshot of your life. Now, when I do cards, I don't usually 
um, do like a long term future. It tends to be short term. It tends to be within about a year, a year and a half tops when I do cards usually. But they tend to be predictive. Now, when I'm working with a one to one, uh, that's that's when I usually get spirit messages, uh, which you probably will know. Um, this kind of thing I don't usually. But we've had a few tonight, haven't we? Yeah. But I haven't got them. They've come to us. And people are saying there's still loads of orbs. Is what there? I'm for, somebody asked, can anybody join your cupboard? Is that, is that Hannah? No, no. I, oh. It's gone off. And I'm really sorry oh. I can't find your name, but somebody did say... Can you join the coven? How do they get into the Right, coven? okay. Now, I only take, you know, we've got a busy coven this time. There's over 30, but normally I only take 30. The best thing to do is inbox me on, on, on this page on my tarot connection page and just leave your number and just say when the next coven starts Gina will you um add me or you know can I have a space and but as I say I only take 30 yeah you know but yes leave me a number hey there's lots of comments about uh mad you two fab you two thank you for all <laughs> thank you great double act oh um where are we where are we where I think what we're going to do, I'm not sure, I think what we're going to do is, is um, I mean, there's a few people that want to come on my live yeah, vlog. Yeah. So I thought I'd be like loose women and, and have maybe a certain women that come on regular. Like yeah. obviously you and me, you and me most regular. Um, but there's a few others who have asked me. So um, that we might have to be take, nice. We have to take turns. We have to take turns, really. Beth Goldsborough has never had a card before. Please, can she have one? Of course you can, Beth. Is there anything specific that you want to know? Or shall I just pick a card out for the week for you, Beth? Let's just pick a card. Do you know, yeah. most of the cards tonight have been really positive, haven't they? Yeah. There haven't been many bad cards tonight. But there's obviously lots of spirits around. <gasps> us well. Look at that! Oh! oh. Goodness. Shall we do a fourth? We just have to. Go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. Ten of cups. Everybody will remember the that. Card, yeah, yeah. you see, this is the way you remember cards, you see. Because when I do my class, I associate every single card with a song and then you'll remember. So when you see the ten of cups, you'll think of the marriage card. So if there's nobody in your life, Beth, somebody coming. Or if there is, it, it means that, like, if you get the Ten of Cups, like, for instance, if you've got the Ten of Cups, Lynn, yeah. you're very happily married, aren't yeah. you? <clears throat> and that wasn't it. <laughs> <laughs> There's someone stuck at me throat there. I never suffer from my throat, do I? I never usually suffer from coughing. Thank you, Julie. Lovely to see your beautiful faces. See you oh, soon. Julie Morgan. Yeah. What was I going to say there? I've, I've, I've lost my If drift. you were married. And you oh, were yes. Married. If Lynn got the ten of cups, you see, because she's happily married. <coughs> no, she's very happily married. John's a lovely fella. Um, and she got the ten of cups. It means maybe if you've disconnected from each other a little bit, yeah. it means that you're going to connect again. Yeah. yeah. But if you're not married and you get that, well, it means you get married. There's loads of them getting married tonight. There's a few romances. Uh, Kayleigh Smith, that's come through a few times. Please, can she have a card? Yes, Kayleigh. Kayleigh. Hello, Kayleigh. So we'll do... Um, I'll just shuffle the cards and pick one out for Kayleigh. Right. Stephen Smith said you're a legend. <laughs> or a legend. I'm a legend. Sure. I'm more like a legend. Are you, Stephen? Are you all right, darling? Right. This is for... Uh, Kayleigh Smith. Kayleigh Smith, you've got Whoa. the three cups, which is celebration. Celebration time, come on. Du, 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 du. Cooler the gang. We're in sync tonight, we are. We just, The three of cups is all about celebration. So that's a wonderful card. So you're going to have a lovely week. Are you going to a wedding? Are you going to an engagement? Are you going to a christening? Are you going to a big party? Very and I would good. say put on a red frock. Um, Beth, who we've just sang to again with the marriage card, yes. she said spot on. She got engaged in December. <gasps> so there you go. Isn't that great? Oh, I love it when it's like... Because, you know, like I was saying before, this is kind of just a bit of fun, isn't it? It is. But there's, but something, there's, in there's, it, something. there's something in it, and isn't there? they're still saying all the time about all the, the orbs. orbs. So, wow. Where That's amazing. That really is. Vicky Marley, third time lucky. Can I have a... Can That's I, our Vicky. Is it? Can oh. I have... Oh, I've lost it. I think Can it's... I have guidance? Could do with some good luck. This is my cousin. Oh, is it your cousin? I think this oh, is our right. Vicky. I think it's our Vicky. Are you Vicky? I think it is. 
Uh, unless there's two Vicky Marleys, but I think it's, I, I think this is my cousin. Right, you want to know if you're going to have a bit of good luck. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look, Vicky. Right. Let's see what we get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, let's have a look. Oh. What should we sing for this? Hang on, let me just. Let, let, I'm just going to um, talk up, talk with my colleague. What should we sing for this? Uh, uh, you got the whole world in his hands. You got the whole world in his hands. You got the whole world in your hands. You got the whole world in your hands. Wow, that was deep, wasn't it? We it sounded was. a bit <laughs> Right, Vicky, you've got the best card in the pack. You've got the world, which is all about... Um, <clears throat> it means that you're with the right person. It means that kind of... It's like completion, really. It means that you have got a nice life, um, which I know anyway, because um, she's my cousin. Yeah. But it means that things are going to get better. Um, now you're planning a trip or something? Mm, the world is completion. So it's the best card in the pack. Um, let's think of another card for that. Let's think of another song for that. The world. I got a big one. I know. What? Don't I sing see another. skies of blue. Don't know the words. Do -do -do, do -do -do -do. And I think to myself, myself what, what a wonderful, wonderful world. world. I love that one. <laughs> um. Right, okay, these two here, um, I'm trying to, Dawn Arnell, I'm really sorry to keep asking, but I need some luck or positive feedback, please would love a card. Yes, yeah, sorry, sorry, when, sorry when people keep asking, yeah, I can't Yeah, sorry, keep up it's with just, it. she can't, I mean, we're, we're getting trying. about 100 texts an hour a minute, so, yeah, Dawn, this is for you, hey, Las Vegas, why am I singing that? Las Vegas is on tonight, watch it. Yeah. Las Vegas? Yeah, it's all about Las Vegas. It's really good. I watched it last week. You'll like it. Well, I, yeah. I've been to, I sang in Las Vegas. I did, but only on the karaoke. <gasps> Ace of Wands! How many times have I been out? Again. My God, the Ace of Wands, that is a really, really good card. So, like I said before, a new beginning. So, the Ace of Wands would be... What song would I sing for the Ace of Wands? Um... That's Celine Dion one. You know songs better than The Celine me. Dion one. Um, oh. A new, a new chapter. Oh. I can't think of the song. but it's, it, every, If anybody can think of a Celine Dion song, which means a new chapter, let me know. Um, the Issa ones. It's all about new beginnings and new chapters. and Excellent. Excellent. And then can we have one for the... <laughs> 25th time lucky. Can I have a card, please? Amy Carter. Amy! Hello, Amy. Right. Would you like the splits? Would you like me to do the splits or would you like to show You're going to have to stop doing the splits with those hips. Our oh, Katie said it's like a comedy show. We're not meant to be, are we? <laughs> no, we're not meant to be comedy. Oh, she's got the Ten of Cups. So there's a new... Go to, to the, the chapel and <laughs> Gonna get married. Oh, I think these just want us me. to sing, and that's why we're I do. Right, the Ten of Cups, Amy, marriage card, or living together. So if you haven't got anybody in your life, girly, you will have soon. <laughs> oh, this would be interesting. Isn't this because that marriage one keeps coming up? Hannah Blair, I get married in seven weeks. Could I have a card, please? <gasps> This would be interesting if the same one comes out. What if it says... She just wants us to sing to her. What if it says, no, get rid of him. <gasps> you sure you want this, Hannah? Are you sure, Hannah? This one should be, I'm getting married, married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. Pull out the stopper. Let's have a whopper, so get me to the church on time. Bam! <gasps> eee! I can't believe it. Look at that, the Hierophant. Now, this ah. came out as Lynn's spirit guide before, right? But the Hierophant is all to do with... Um, a religious wow, person. Wow, a religious a person. 
person, a, vicar, a, priest, a priest, a vicar. Are you getting married in church, Anna? Wow. Wow. Well, that sounds going to go well. That is brilliant. Hey. Isn't that great? Like, what are we doing Your cousin said, thanks, cuz. That'll do for her. The word. We're proper making her laugh tonight. At least we're oh, giving everybody a laugh. brilliant, should, yeah. Trisha Wallace said, should be on the telly, you two. Fifth time, lucky, can I have a card, please? <laughs> hey, listen. Uh, right, I'm going to give you a card. I want to ask everybody a little favour, because soon I'm going to be doing a competition for a free reading, right? Now, when you get a free reading, I usually do this every four months. When you get a free reading, you usually get the free reading within a, within three or four months, or even yeah. two or three months. <clears throat> when I get my first cancellation, I give you the, for a free reading. Now, I'm booked up till June, but if you're desperate for a reading, it's worth going in for the competition, Definitely. isn't it? Definitely. So, all I'd like you to do at the end of this blog, if you like and share it, um, and if you just put your name, and then you'll be in with the yeah. um, with a chance. Obviously, you've you've seen if I've done before. I pull the name out the hat yeah. live on air, and you get a free reading. So, if you just like and share, and put like and shared and your name, and that's great. And your contact number. No, oh, I because I can contact it. them. I can oh, get in touch right. with them on Facebook oh, yes, if they leave the name you, can, you yeah. see. I'll just in oh it, yeah, just just inbox I'll inbox you yeah. once I've picked your name out. Right. Yeah. yeah. Who is this for? Trisha Wallace. Hi Trisha. Mm, let's see what's in store. Mm -hmm. Oh Again. wow. This is the love blog. Tonight. It is. Don't worry, we're not going to sing. Is this the love blog? Yeah. What would you say for this? What song would you say for this one? Oh, it's a proposal. Oh, <laughs> it's not rude. Right. The Knight of Cups again. Proposal. A knight in shining armour. An offer. An invitation. If you're with somebody, Trisha. It would mean that maybe he's going to offer you something, you know. Um, invitation, maybe going away for a couple of days. Or it can mean re renewing of your vows. Or if you're not with anybody, it means somebody's coming. It's all about love tonight, it isn't is. it? Have you noticed? It is. It seems that everybody's going to meet someone. Sonia Engelman, it's a first time viewing and I love your spirit and energy. Oh, nice. thank you, Sonia. That's nice. Oh, thank you. Should we pick a card off, pick Sonia? Pick a card off. Should we pick a card off of Sonia? Yeah. Right, Sonia, this is for you. This is for you. Right. Let's have a card. Oh, that one's sticking out, look. It is. Oh. The lovers. The lovers. Is there anybody in your life, Sonia? Because you've got the lovers, so get ready for a bit of passion. Get to Anne Summers. Or Boo Avenue have some nice underwear. Oh, Boo Avenue, I've seen them. Don't yeah. go on Asda. Asda underwear look very nice. She Boo Avenue. wear it, Asda underwear. You have to I know, it. but when she's making this fella, she doesn't oh, wear no. Asda underwear. Okay. You want, you want nice, nice underwear. proper underwear, okay. don't you? Asda's all right, but it's not for us, you know. Sorry <laughs> to the people who go to Asda <laughs> underwear. But you know, <laughs> I'd say I'm no, I, I'm, I'm some as a scratchy. I would say Boo Avenue, Victoria's Secrets. See, they're no good for me, they don't make them in scaffold size. Oh, get away. Hey, I'm telling you. Can I tell the girls? Can I tell everyone your good news? What's my good news? Oh, go on. Do you mind? My friend here has got a pound and a half to go, and she'll have lost five stone, and I think that deserves. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> and celebration. She's done absolutely marvellous. And she sits on a Sunday in class and the sweets everywhere and she does not have one, do you? You've been no. so strong. Never. So strong. Never. Uh, let's have a look, Julie Smith. Love watching you both. You're fab together. Funny and uplifting. Oh, Jamie, thank you're you. always spot on with your readings. Thank you for my card. Oh, yeah. it's a pleasure. Oh, oh Amy, who we sang to, she said, It's about time I've been engaged for nine years. <laughs> <laughs> really? Really? Tell him to get his finger out. Oh, that's excellent. Oh, excellent. you sang that and an orb went past. <gasps> Big orb just right across the screen, a few of them say. Really? Yeah. Nadia Flounders, could I please have a card? Hi, Nadia. Oh, Nadia's lovely. She's been Nadia's been coming to me um, as long as you have, you know, when oh, I used really? to have my little room in the gym. Yeah. 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 
Nadia, this is for you, my darling. Oh, the King of Pentacles. Oh. Are you are you worried about a man in your life? Is that Louise? Louise has just said something. Are you worried about a man in your life, Nadia? Because that is the King of Pentacles, and that usually means uh, your husband or your boyfriend or your partner or wherever. Uh, let's have another card with this. Are you a bit concerned about him at the moment? Um, let's have another card with that. Sometimes you need one more card. Right, the Knight of Wands, are you going away? Have you just moved house? Um, it's either a move of a house. Actually, I think you have just moved house because I was talking to you a few weeks ago. It's either a move of house. The Knight of Wands is either a move of house or it means going abroad or something happening really fast. Um, it's, it's a good card though, yeah, but fabulous. you're thinking about your fella at the moment for some reason. Um, are you going away with him? Somewhere hot. Ooh, let's see. Let's see. And this poor girl's been, I've been seeing her name. I've been struggling to get a job. Could I have a card to see if anything comes up around that area? Shannon Bishop. Shannon, right, Shannon. You want to know about your job, right? Let's have one card. We would like to know if Shannon is going to get a new job, right? Oh, Hannah Blair is getting married in a church, you know, in the higher <gasps> from... Spot on then. Spot on. Right. Oh, dear me. Look at that. I can't it's believe just, it. We're getting the same. It's unbelievable. The 78 cards, and we have predominantly chosen the Ten of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands. Right, the Knight of Cups. Now, if you've asked about your romantic life, right, the Knight of Cups would mean a romance on the way, um, your knight in shining armour, you know. But if you've asked about your career, it means you're going to get an offer of something. So it means that you're going to get an offer of a job. So yes, stay positive and get yourself a Venturine or a Citrine crystal. Joanne Davis is saying she's trying to have a baby. Is she going to have a baby? Right. Are you going to have a baby? Joanne, are you going to have a baby? Are you going to have a baby? Mm -hmm. What one am I drawn to? Let's have a look. Oh, yes, oh, yes, definitely. Yes, because he's the been Emperor, out a few he's times been out a well, few yeah. times, hasn't he? What she said. Right, the Emperor. Now, you see, this is the father figure. So, yes, you are, because yeah. the man who you're with is obviously going to be the father of your child. So, yes, you are going to have a baby. Yes. You need to get a phallic symbol. So you need to... Let me just tell you how, how, what I would do. If I was trying for a baby, right, I'll tell you what I would do. You need to get a vision board, right? And how you do a vision board, you either go on your computer and go on Microsoft Word and, and, you know, drag things on to that vision board. Or if you're not very good on the computer, you can just do yeah. it with, with things out of magazines, you know, that are moth. No. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it's dead or, or, or it won't have any children that much. Um, so you need to get a vision board and what you need to do, so say you're wanting a baby and nothing's happening, right? What you need to do is Google an image of a pregnant lady, right? Oh, my top keeps writing up, sorry. A pregnant lady and then you want to copy and paste your head on that pregnant yeah. lady, you see, and then put it somewhere where you can see it every day so it's like you're pregnant, you yeah. know, so you're giving that energy off. That's what you need to do. And you need to get a rose quartz, Willie, because that can be fertility. Thank you for all the congratulations on my weight loss, people. Aww. Katie Joyce, can, uh, can I have a card about a house? I think she's thinking of moving house and she wants to know whether... I think, ah, I hello, think Katie. That's our Katie, isn't it? Right, that's not, our... Not my Katie. Katie, Katie the, coven. the Coven. Katie from the Coven, right. What? So you're thinking of moving, so you want to know whether to move. Is that what you're saying? Right. Should she move at the moment? Hmm, let's have a look. Uh, oh, the fool! The fool. Fools rush in. Where yeah. wise men no, never no, go. I'm just watching your lips, I don't know. Where wise men never fall in love. So how are they to know? And I see. <laughs> <laughs> you would think I was a singer. I don't have any bloody words. <laughs> right, the fool. Yes, definitely. Take that leap of faith, Katie, because the fool is all about taking a leap of faith. Yes, you should move. 
Terry Simpson. We haven't seen her for a long time. Terry! She's asked a few times, can she have Where a card, are you? please? You need to come back to the coven, girlie. We miss you, Terry. Definitely. All people are still saying about these orbs. Oh, are they still there? Right. Terry, let's have a look. This is for you, darling, Terry. Terry! Right. Oh, wow. The wheel of fortune goes round and round. I think I've got the tune wrong. Um, <coughs> okay, star. I've got, sorry, I've got the tune wrong. Um, the wheel of fortune, big changes, Terry. Big changes for you. Changes with knobs on. Massive changes. So when you get the wheel of fortune, if your life's just kind of plodding along like that and you get the wheel of fortune, bang! Something happens and it changes yeah. your life. So mm. big changes, Terry. Can we have a card for Stephen Smith? He's been yes. waiting very patiently. Right. Stephen, this is for you, darling. I've lost, I've lost him now, but um, I saw your name, yeah. Stephen, a few times. So this so. is for you, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you have to ask I a few know. times, don't you? Um, right, so Stephen, this is for you. Saying, oh, I'll tell you in a minute after you've done Stevens. Can you believe that? If this this is spooky tonight. This is unreal. Spooky. People have seen how I, can you see on the screen, right? I just want to ask them then. See where all the comments are coming up. I can't read us too I far can, away. But are they hiding our faces? No. Oh, it's just at the bottom, just, is it? Yeah. Oh, it's here. It's not, right. Yeah. It's just at the bottom, right? Because yeah. I'm thinking you can't see Matt. Yes. Right. Yeah, um, oh, I went into Georgia there, didn't you I? Did. Right. Um, the Emperor. Stephen, are you trying for a baby? Um, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a bit impertinent there and a bit cheeky. But it looks as though you're going to have a baby. You've got the Emperor, um, which is paternity. So it looks as though there's going to be a baby coming in your life. Wow. Keep me posted. Keep me posted. Definitely. There's loads of people talking about the orbs and lots of um, activity in here this evening, I think. Really? Wow. Carly Jade Richardson, can I have a card, please? Gina, hope you're well. Yes, darling, I'm well. Carly. I think Carly is, um, if, oh, I think it is, it's, um, I know your mother. Well, I know you as well, if it's the, if it's the Carly I'm thinking of. Um, Leslie's mum, Leslie's daughter, if it's the Carly I'm thinking of. Right, yes it is Leslie's daughter. Right, Carly, this is for you. Oh, one last time. Go going to, to the, the chapel and we're going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember Carly whether you're married or not, but if you're not, you're going to get married. <laughs> <laughs> and if you are married, well, um, you're going to reconnect with your other half. Can you believe how many times? How many? The same ones, the higher offense, And you, the you see, I am still, I'm sat here and I'm shuffling and shuffling and shuffling. And there's, there's 78 cards in the pack and they're all different and they're not like the James Bond where, uh, what do they call their solitaire, where they're a pack of lovers. Can you remember when she no, says to James Bond? Do you not watch? No. Have you not seen Live and Let Die? No. Well, um, Jane Seymour, who played Solitaire, she's trying to seduce Roger Moore. All who right. Who's James Bond, you see. So she has her tarot cards out and uh, she says, pick a card and he picks the lovers out and then she drops them and they're all the lovers. All that right. That would be a good seduction well, technique. Well, I can actually. guarantee this happens every week. All the time. Every Sunday. That would be a good seduction technique, wouldn't it, if you were trying to seduce a fella? Just get a pack of love. Just get. Just, a, you'd have yeah, to get. You'd need, have to buy you know, seventy eight. You see, you need the truth. You don't like. No, you'd have to get seventy eight packs of cards though to get seventy eight lovers, wouldn't you? We've got Abby Lee George, who's never had a card before. How do they work? Would love one. How do they work? Right. Well, uh, um, if you just tuned in, the tarot cards work. The fact that. You were picking the cards out, right? So it's like a snapshot of your life. So the, the thing is with the cards, they're not written in stone, are they? No. You know what I mean? You, you can never say 100%, but the cards, like you were picking your own future out, basically. So um, they're a good indication of what's coming into your life, right? 
He had picked two out yeah. by mistake, but look where I picked yeah. out. <laughs> you got, honestly, you could not make this up. I wonder if this is a subliminal message. There's something going on, isn't there? Because we've got... Going to the chapel and we're going to get married. I think we'll get a record deal from this today. Do you think so? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You've Do got it. the high priestess and you've got the marriage card and the high priestess is saying, use your psychic ability because you're bang on. There you go. Your psychic ability is spot on, but that means marriage or relationship. There you go. Abby Lee George. Hannah Blair says, I love you too. Kate Warlow, I love watching you both. These live vlogs are fabulous. Oh, I'm glad Thank you, you enjoy them. Both. You know, we've just started. I mean, this is only our second one, you know, but we're going to do them regular, definitely, because we just have so much fun. I know, but I'll miss you. I'll miss them. I know you have to take, you have to let other people. Well, if nobody wants to do it one or two weeks, you just have yeah. to do it again. Let us know if you want Lynn to do it. <laughs> uh, jo Williamson said, my mum is a family friend of yours from a long time ago. Hi. Who's your mum? Tell me who your mum is. Who your mum is, Jo. Jo. Jo Williamson. Jo. That, that could be a married name. Oh, yeah. right. Tell me who, yeah. tell me who your mum is, Jo. Let's have a look. Have we got any more? Anything for me tonight? Emma Trousdale. Emma! Hello, Emma. Right. Wendy... Oh, no. I'm not sure what that means. Curly Smith has said Wendy Robbins. I'm not sure. Oh, right. Four of Swords. That's the healing card. That's for Emma. Yeah, this is for Emma. So it's saying you need to take a little bit of time out, Emma, and maybe... Maybe be kind to yourself because the Four of Swords is all about healing and recuperation and rest. So if you've been doing too much lately, maybe um, you need to take a bit of time out and, and rest. It's a nice card because it's all about healing. So, Jo Williamson's mum is Janice Little. Oh, yeah, Janice, e, Janice, yeah, Janice. Now, her grandmother, I think it was her grandmother, was my nana's best friend. Flory, I think that's that's who it is. Okay, Janice, yeah. Um, yeah, and yeah, she's lovely, Janice, yeah. I think it's the same one who, who I'm thinking of, yeah. So her nana and my nana were best friends. Oh. Let's see. Wonder if she's here tonight. Oh, oh. Joanne Hull has to go to work now, so I'll see oh, you again. Oh bye Joanne. Thanks for tuning in. Bye Joanne. Right, have we got time for uh, E, do you know, squad to nine. Right, we're gonna have another ten minutes, I think, and then I think we should Yeah. Um you know, we could, we could stay all we could night. Stay, yeah, we should have an all night. It should be really. I know. Um, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Like I really have. I have. Um, so we, we've got time for a couple more. Claire questions. Taylor, can I have a card, please, to see if any good luck is on its way? Yes, Claire Taylor. Right. Yeah, that's her mum's name, Flory. Flory. No, that's Anana. her mum's name. Yeah. yeah. Now Flory was hilarious. She was the funniest woman <coughs> ever. And I used to um, stand in the kitchen with my nana and Flory when I was a kid. And they used to be like us two. And I used to be fascinated right. by them. Because my nana used to do the cards. But she used to just use, use the playing cards. And Erin Flory used to laugh and tell jokes all the time. And I used to be... I think that's how I get my sense of humour off my nana. <laughs> right. So who was this for again? Uh, where are we? Where are we? Claire. Sorry, 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 sorry. Claire Taylor. Claire, Claire. This is for you, Claire. Right. This is for you. The fool, you got the fool again, right? Yeah. So what this is saying, there's an opportunity going to come into your life, Claire, that you need to take a leap of faith with. So it's like there's a big door, the universe is going to open a big door for you, right? Mm. Big door, and you have to jump out that door, but you won't be jumping into the Grand Canyon. You won't be jumping off the cliff into the Grand Canyon, mm. like Thelma and Louise. Mm. You'll be jumping off onto a nice feather mattress. So take that leap of faith. Oh. Emma Trousdale, when you said she needs a little bit of uh, healing, she's put, yeah, thank you, you're totally right. I'm Is that worn. right? She's worn right out. Yeah. I think you need um, healing. Amethyst is a nice crystal for healing. Yeah, though, I like isn't amethyst. It? So when you feel as though you need healing and you just need, need a little TLC and you haven't got a big hunky fella to cuddle you and give you a load of that, <laughs> you just need to cuddle your amethyst till he comes along. <laughs> Uh, Hazel Simpson. Hazel! Class. Is that is that Hazel who comes to our class? Is that which she Hazel? No. I don't think so. She's not I Simpson, don't know what they call Hazel. I don't know. No, I don't think she's her, uh, No, I 
Yeah, I don't know. So. Yeah, I don't know. For Carl Hazel. I don't. Do you know all these girls come to my class? I don't know. I, I, no, I don't really have the second names. Is it Hazel? Tell us if it's you, Hazel. Oh. Right. Hazel is the. Um, if it's our Hazel, she is. She owns the Fisherman's Arms. No, it, it isn't. Oh, it isn't. It isn't Hazel. Chivet must something, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. Right, Hazel, this is for you. Right. It's all gone quiet. I don't know what to say. Hazel, one, two, a one, Everyone two, join three, in. and go into the chapel and we're gonna get married. Hazel, ten of cups, the marriage card. I cannot believe how many times that card has been. And you see me shuffling, I lay them all out. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. There's lots of love in here tonight. There's, oh, we're feeling the love. So if there's not anybody in your life, there will be. Hey, if there is, mate. you're going to connect with him. Let's have one for Leonie, man. Bless her, she's been wearing Leonie, are you a Leo by any chance, Leonie? Because Le Le Leonie is a, a lion's name, isn't oh, it? Right. It's, it's, uh, it's Let us know. Um, Oh, I'm hungry, are you? Do you fancy a bacon sandwich? No, I think uh, too many sins. <laughs> I'm going to have a bacon sandwich when I finish this vlog. And a gin. No, I don't like gin. Actually, I do. You know what I've just bought? Battenberg cake gin. Battenberg cake gin. Gin Battenberg. What are you going to say? Abby Lee George, who we've just sang the marriage card to, she's put, I love how you sang that song. Me and my partner sing it to each other when it comes on the telly. Thank you. No, oh. really? Oh, so you're happily married there. Oh. Oh. Don't think she's married, but... Who is this for? Is this for someone? Uh, yes, that's for um, Leonie. Leonie. Yes, because I asked her if she was a lion. A lioness like me. Is there any Pisces watching tonight? Because our Lynn is a Pisces. I'm a Pisces. And I'm a... So there's a lioness and a fish. Oh, Leonie said she is a Leo, yeah? Eee! 23rd of August. She's put Leo stroke. Yeah, I'm going to say you're on the cusp, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, she's on the cusp. My, my friend's on the cusp. She's, a, she's, a, a, she's on the cusp of Leo and Capricorn. She's a leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to say that for ages. <laughs> no, um, you're on the cusp of Leo and Virgo, actually. So you'll have a few Leo traits and you'll have a few Virgo traits. So you'll be very analytical. You'll be, um, you'll be a little bit... It's like, it, it's like a little bit of a... When you're a Leo and Virgo um, cusp, you're kind of like contradicting because... You'll worry about everything, but Leo's worry about nothing. So you know what I mean. Right. The Virgos are completely opposite to Leo, so you'll have a, like a dual personality. Right. You've got the King of Swords, Leo. So that's either somebody in your life who is either an air sign, or he could be a policeman. He could wear a uniform. He could be. He's the kind of man that um, doesn't wear his hat on his sleeve. He's he's got his sword up. You know, um, not in a good way. Um, no, his 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 swords up. So he's. Quite guarded, you yeah. know, the King of Swords is quite guarded. He's got the scales in the other hand, so he could have something to do with law. Um, or if you, th there's nobody in your life like that at the moment, you could be meeting somebody like that. So look out for the King of Swords. Um, there was a young man from Sparta who was a magnificent farter. On the strength of one being, he'd fart God Save the Queen and Beethoven's Moonlight Sonata. <laughs> I think, oh, look, I'm going to have to sell it to you, that look. Can you see? It's got a wobble on. It's got a little, what look at that? It's been pulled out that many I times know. tonight. That's what she said. Right, um, Can have we, we got time for one more? One more. This, We've got time for this one girl's more. been waiting. Oh. Ellie Lawrence. Ellie! Oh, lots of people saying the Pisces. Oh, really? Pisces. Pisces are nice people. They're very romantic Pisces, very sensitive folk. Very soft-hearted. 
You that are, right. aren't you? You yeah. are. And they've got lovely eyes, Pisces people. They've always got, you have, yeah. you've got, oh, gorgeous eyes. Pisces usually have very blue or very green eyes. They're like very piercing eyes, you know. They have, yeah, you have. You've got lovely eyes. In fact, in fact, I would say a Pisces man would be, a typical example of a Pisces man would be Paul, Paul Newman. All oh, right. Because yeah, he's yeah, got nice them lovely eyes. icy blue yeah, eyes. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's, he was always yeah, like, yeah. He, and he was lovely. The very, he was quite loyal as well because he was, he's quite loyal to his wife. Also. Right. Is he still alive, Paul Newman? I don't know. Is Paul Newman still alive? <laughs> Google it. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, I'm not sure. He was handsome in his time. He was oh, handsome. God, how yeah. handsome. There's no Paul Newmans around these days. Is there? Pat and John. Yeah. I'm saying Pat nothing. and John, <laughs> Lynn's, Lynn, Lynn's husband. <laughs> What, what we're asking again? Who was this for? Ellie Lawrence. Ellie, Ellie, sorry. I just get easily sidetracked. Right, Ollie, Ellie, this is your, this is the last one I'm reading because we've on, been on nearly two hours now. So um, I'd just like to, well, pick a word card for her out first and then we'll do it. Right, let's have a look. The Nine of Wands, right. That's not a bad card. It's a challenging card. So I'll tell you what this is saying to me, Ellie. If you're in the eye of the storm at the moment, right, so if you're having kind of like a bad time, right, and you're in the eye of the storm, what it's saying is keep strong because you've got one more obstacle to go through yeah. and then you're out of that rough water and then you've, you're kind of swimming to the shore. So um, there's one more obstacle. So it's a little bit rocky in, in your life at the moment, but it will get better. Just persevere and you'll get there. That's what that that's the message of that card, the nine of wands. So if, remember, if you're in the eye of the storm, don't worry because you will you will um, get out of that and you will swim to shore. So I think we've got. I think that's it now, isn't it, Lynn? Few few um few people saying Paul Newman is oh. still alive. Oh, he's still alive. Oh, no, yeah. Wait a minute, and then does, and the doesn't he make, he's dead. Doesn't he make salad dressings? He died. Oh, does he? He, he died he September two thousand and eight. Oh, Paul Newman. He was sixty. Oh, Paul Newman is so handsome. Hannah Blair said her daughter's a Pisces with lush blue eyes. Really? So you must be. Yeah, right Pisces. There. I'll tell you how you can usually tell a Pisces. Very piercing eyes. Very soft features, Pisces. Uh, and a Pisces man, they're not usually like Neanderthals. They're usually quite, sensitive. they usually make sensitive. Yeah. They're usually musicians, a, a lot of musicians are Pisces. Um, well, they can see that art of singing I've done tonight. Absolutely. <laughs> they're very creative Pisces. They're either musicians or artists or poets. They're very creative. And as I say, a Pisces man, they're not usually big, tough, you know, yeah. like Neanderthals. They're quite gentlemen. They're proper yeah. gentlemen, you know. Yeah. Um, Leos usually have a lot of hair because they represent the mane. They usually have quite a longish face because they're very lion-esque. Right. So if you look at Leos, they tend to have like a lioness's face or a lion's face. You know, oh, like right. you know, like a Leo. Yeah. yeah. And they walk very proud and they're big-hearted. And, oh. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a Leo. Um, and they're usually gobshite. They're nearly sure. <laughs> You can't get quiet, Leo. Like. <laughs> oh, Joanne Davis says, thanks, ladies. Your beautiful angels love to you. Oh, oh. thank you. Thank you so much. It's, well, it's been great. It's kind of coming to the end of our, of our blog now. And I've had a blast, yes, have you? Yeah, and I'll miss it. We've had a really time. We've had a really lovely time, everybody. And thanks for tuning yes. in. And, and thank you for all your messages and, and, your, and, the, and the love in the room tonight. And Very. thank you, Spirit, for all the little orbs flying around. Yeah, and just definitely. The time. Um, so come back again. yeah definitely come back we'll, uh, we'll be on in two or three weeks but at the end of this vlog if you please like and share it that would yeah. be wonderful leave your name and um, I will put a little thing on as well though um, and then you'll be in the competition um, you'll be in the draw for a free reading yeah. um, is that... don't forget about Gina's um, booth sale oh yes thing. I'm having a little garage sale on Sunday from 10 o'clock till half past 12 um, it's not obviously loads of stuff it's just me having a bit of a clear out but there's a lot of stuff there a lot of yeah. gear you know um, so if you're not it's doing not anything bargains. Sunday morning you know grab yourself a bag and 10 o'clock half past 12 at Scarborough Street um, so have a wonderful week weekend because it's Thursday now yeah. have a wonderful weekend everybody and we will see you next time Lynn's going to turn bye. the uh, vlog off now bye Lynn bye. Um, I'm going to have a bit of sandwich now so bye everyone bye She's looking. I can't find She's the. Uh, <laughs> hang on. <laughs> She's looking for the stop sign. Oh, sorry. There she is. It's all right, I Lynn. I can't find it. Oh, finish. There you go. 